Hello and welcome. I'm Natasha Trethaway, a professor of English at Northwestern University and chair of the Annisville Wolf Book Awards jury. Now in its 89th year, this prize is given to authors whose books have made important contributions to our understanding of racism and our appreciation of the rich diversity of human cultures. The Annisville Wolf Canon represents authors whose works have often challenged the way we think and changed the way we perceive cultures other than our own. Literary luminaries like Langston Hughes, Toni Morrison, and Sonia Sanchez sit in conversation with contemporary thought leaders like Andrew Solomon, Isabel Wilkerson, and Matthew Delmont, all authors whose words have inspired the world. As a 2021 recipient of the Annisville Wolf Book Award in Nonfiction, it gives me great personal pleasure to welcome a new class of authors who will continue this rich legacy. The 2024 Annisville Wolf Book Award in Poetry is awarded to Monica Yoon for From From. From From is a brilliant collection of poems lush with detail in its meditations on myth, history, popular culture, and art. With elegant precision, a vision both unflinching and clinical, Yoon renders a harrowing examination of the self and society within the structures of language and culture narrowly constructed to contain and define. Long-standing notions of racial difference and hierarchy, of belonging and otherness, Americanness and perpetual foreignness. From Yoon's compelling use of hybrid forms, the lyric essay prose poem, as in the wisely titled In the Passive Voice, to the mono stick with its thrilling internal logic, emerges a heady and transformative book. In the end, Yoon's capacious considerations of gender, class, and history paint a devastating picture of the landscape that racial politics has wrought in this country. From From is a major contribution, deepening our ongoing conversation about what it means to be an American. Hi, I'm Peter Ho Davies. I'm a fiction writer and professor in the Helen Zell Writers Program at the University of Michigan. And it's my very great pleasure to introduce the 2024 Annisville Wolf Book Award recipient in fiction, Tremor by Teju Cole, a sinuous meditation on art and life, once elegant and steely. Tremor tells the story of Tunde, an academic and artist, his speciality is photography, who hails from Nigeria but now teaches college in New England. Details that in autofictional fashion seem to echo some of the circumstances of this author's life. Essayistic in structure, the book offers a slow developing portrait of an artist in crisis. Tunde's is a contemplative, seemingly comfortable existence, but no longer a complacent one. His story is told in a measured, thoughtful register, but haunted by unease. A flicker of racial animus here, hints of marital disquiet there, subtle recurring intimations of loss. There's an almost austere dignity here, but one that powerfully and movingly suggests a soul tightly clenched. An antiquing trip to Maine yields a traditional African mask, which leads him to wonder how it, and perhaps he himself, got there, prompting a wider consideration of the ethics of art. Tunde thinks of himself as making photographs rather than taking them, but the taking of art the appropriation of subjects, the stealing or looting of art objects, echoing as it does the taking of lives, provokes a cold fury in him. What does it mean to care about art, but not about the people who made that art? He challenges his audience at a talk, but it's a question he asks of himself as an artist too. What are the limits, the impositions of representation? A return journey to Nigeria, a symbolic reversal of the path of those stolen lives, that stolen art, offers traces of solace, a connection with others, a reminder of the occasional transporting joys of art, music especially, and its constellations in the face of time and mortality. The result is painful, healing, and exacting, an engagement with art, both deeply felt and deeply thought, that is in itself a singular artistic achievement. My name is Steve Pinker. I am a professor of psychology at Harvard University and privileged to serve on the jury of the Annisfield Wolf Book Prize. I'm very excited to mention this year's winner in nonfiction, Ned Blackhawk's The Rediscovery of America, 
Native Peoples and the Unmaking of U.S. History. For some time, we have known that American history did not begin in 1492, that this was not an empty continent discovered by Europeans, but had a rich history of hundreds of peoples and sovereign nations that were not only greeted the Europeans, but played a central role in the unfolding of American history. The native peoples that Black Hawk describes in the book were by no means subordinate to the occupying European forces. It is true that they were subject to massacres, to pandemics, to reneged agreements, and Black Hawk retells this story unflinchingly. But he also emphasizes that these were sovereign nations, that they had agency, that they had sophisticated degrees of political organization and cultural organization. And indeed, there was negotiation, there was compromise, there was co-opting and adoption of political arrangements from the Native peoples, that many pivotal events in American history crucially depended on negotiations between the sovereign nations of, uh, of American Natives and then the European powers. There have been many new sources of evidence and information that Black Hawk has synthesized. He has done it in a way that is elegant and graceful and captivating, and that is absolutely indispensable for an understanding of our nation and how it got that way. So Hello, I'm Rita Dove, and I am the Henry Hoynes Professor of Creative Writing at the University of Virginia. It is my honor to announce that Maxine Hong Kingston is this year's Lifetime Achievement winner. In her 2011 memoir, I Love a Broad Margin to My Life, she says, before I had language, before I had stories, I wanted to write. The world is blessed that she did. Her first book, the Woman Warrior was something new under the sun, blending family stories and legends, fiction and nonfiction, creating both a sensation and a confusion that delighted and challenged us. As the protagonist of the story White Tigers explains, when we Chinese girls listened to the adults talking story, we learned that we failed if we grew up to be but wives or slaves. And she resolves to emulate the woman warrior of these fables, Fa Mulan. As she says, I learned to make my mind large as the universe is large so that there is room for paradoxes. The critic John Powers notes that Kingston is, and I quote, one of those rare figures who shifted American culture and who keeps on being relevant. She tells stories about creating your own identity, not settling for the one the world tries to give you. In my three decades serving on the Andesfield Wolf Book Awards jury, we have honored a dazzling array of great artists, among them Paula Marshall, Wally Soyinka, Isabel Allende, August Wilson, and Dorothy West for their lifetimes of achievement. It is a joy to add the name Maxine Hong Kingston to this list. Congratulations once more to the 2024 class of winners. Please join us in Cleveland, Ohio on September 27th for our annual Annisville Wolf Book Awards ceremony honoring this year's distinguished winners hosted by the Cleveland Foundation. Until then, happy reading. <laughs>